that they're paid by a con. And they'll say, Hey, Randy wants to know if you're looking forward to the XFL. I'm excited to see what the if the if the Seattle Sea Dragons can build the foundation that the Seattle Dragons started. Oh, that kind of C. I thought you meant like the letter C. You don't tell anybody what the C stands for. So then it could be like uh, cock dragons or, you know, whatever. And there it is. I mean, there could be others. So I gave a huge thumbs up to the Women's War Games match. Really? I gave this a thumbs in the middle. I thought this was a thumbs up. And I actually thought it was better than the main event. So there you go. Well, we're all here to disagree, clearly. I don't know why, but the internet was buzzing because Rhea Ripley was doing pull-ups in the little cage. During this match, there was a We Want Sasha chant. Yes, there was. They immediately turned down the mics. I see. Yeah. I am not sure they ever turned them back on. (laughs) Rhonda thought she was a joke. Rhonda's friend Shayna Baszler said, you're a joke. And Shotzi's goal was to come out here and not be a joke. And then for eight minutes or whatever it was, she was a complete and total joke. And by the way, is, was there a wholesale clearance on eye makeup on this? It's like and, this on every show, dude. Oh, my goodness. There's five men in this world who are allowed to be in this room with you. Jimmy, Jay, Solo, the wise man, and me. I am with the bloodline. This was awesome. Kevin Owens and his phenomenal Dusty Rhodes tribute gear. And not polka dots. Roman gives Sammy a big hug. And then Jay gives Sammy a passionate hug. Sammy has won Jay over. Sammy Zayn has to get the matching travel tattoos. It has to be oh. done. <laughs> Barring safety and legal concerns, what kind of exotic or unusual animal would you like to have as a pet and why? Fun fact, I once owned about a dozen peacocks. That was fun and loud. No one owns peacocks. I've seen Sean's peacocks. I owned a dozen peacocks. He showed me his peacocks. That was a plumage. (laughs) Colorful. (laughs) Granny, who would win in a match between The Undertaker and Herman Munster? Me. (laughs) What? (laughs) She'd get to watch it. I've been watching uh, Dukes of Hazzard so much. I'm a big fan of Cooter. (laughs) Me too. I like that. So is Granny. All right, big fan of Cooter. All right, wrestling time. <laughs> I hate this part. I didn't watch much of that because it was all a bunch of garbage. <laughs> that Survivor thing. Shawn Michaels versus Vince Ma- McCo- McMahon. Vince pulled down his pants <gasps> and tried to make uh, Shawn kiss his butt. And Shawn reversed it and took Shane and did it to him. <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> I gave it 11. And a wow! Okay, then what happened to Rod Van Dam? Remember, he's the first wrestler I like. You, you were a big fan of Rod Van Dam. Horns Fuscali. What? Horns Fuscali. I think it's Waggles. Wag- Horns Waggles again? <laughs> I just wrote that down at the bottom. So you made I, it up? I just included it. <laughs> So you made it up. Well, you God. guys want you guys want the weird stuff. You get it. Opposite. You think you know the answer? She changes the question. <laughs> What's the man's best favorite bird? What's the <laughs> What's the man's best favorite bird? Who stole all the woman's cheese? <laughs> There's no way the punchline's funnier than the joke. You can watch any show you want. And if somebody else doesn't like it, don't have your day ruined by what other people think of a show that you watch. Dynamite does a poor rating on Wednesday, and holy fucking shit, the stuff that I saw on the internet. Uh, At one point, Moxley almost fell off the stage and died. You know, he did admit in his book that he's a very clumsy person. (laughs) So, uh, the book is nonfiction. The good news is we did get Dax Harwood versus Brian Danielson. Good God Almighty, what an awesome match. I'm not sure how J.K. Hayward's career is peaking here in 2022, but this fucking hat gimmick is just the best. I like this hat! Powerhouse Hobbs video passes by some guys shooting dice, scares the hell out of them just by walking by, and he goes into the barbershop. Maybe he can talk to Carmelo and Trick. That would be great. Trick Williams, Carmelo Hayes, and Powerhouse Hobbs would be money. A William Regal slash, well, mostly MGF promo. And so they reveal the new belt, the big Burberry belt, Max calls it the triple B. B! 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 
You were in the era of MJF. My reign of terror has begun. Mr. Regal, without this, without these knuckles, none of this would have been possible. And he thunks him right in the back of the head. And Regal goes down. Well, you know, this was a very controversial segment today. Moxley had a... He, he was hit with brass knuckles and his title was, was taken from him. Mm -hmm. No revenge whatsoever. He doesn't get revenge on MJF. But by a man who he trusted. He doesn't get revenge on Regal. Yeah. MJF got revenge on Regal for Moxley when a heel turned heel on a heel. It felt like a six-month story done in a month. In WWE, they believe that Regal is going back to WWE. They believe that he had an agreement with Tony Khan that if Triple H returned, he could go back to WWE. Jade Cargill and her Ben Franklin bikini came out for a celebration. What in God's name happened in this segment? What is going on? Right. Bow Wow appears in the screen. I guess you could call it cutting a promo on her. I'm not sure if he was challenging her to a match or flirting with Thank her. Thank you. I saw many segments like this in TNA. Yeah, yeah. And that's not a positive. Uh, Daddy asks the drill sergeant, and they're answering his questions. They say they will fight the best tag team on Rampage. And Daddy asks, says, you can't do that. You're the best tag team. So they say, okay, we'll fight the second best tag team on Rampage. And I thought, okay, fine. They're doing a title match on Rampage. And then it says they'll do a promo on Rampage. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that's that's what I thought when I watched it. There's a lot of thought put into these matches. You may not love the matches if you, uh, you know, there are people who don't like these matches for some weird reason. They probably yeah. like pork chops. But, uh, you know, they, they do put a lot of thought into their matches. So I thought this was really good. I'm sitting in the middle of my living room. I'm alone, thank God. Literally threw my hands in the air and screamed, Fuck this! It's just a stupid segment. It was so it was horrendous, cringeworthy, unwashable, watchable horseshit, and unwashable for that matter. <laughs> wow. This gets a zero on the granny scale. Oh, wow. This was horrible. There is a big problem here, okay? I'll say. And that is that... A complete lack of quality. Well, no. The... Zero entertainment. I have a sense this next segment is going to be very controversial. I don't think so. Okay. The Hall of Famers... It was hilariously wild and weird. <laughs> the Hall of Famers... <laughs> That's what it was. Am I wrong? It's exactly what it was. The stuff they were saying, it was like, are you actually booking the match right yeah, now? Thank you, yes. It, th this one... <laughs> it was so weird. This felt to me like, if this was real... This is the kind of thing the booking committee would discuss. Exactly, yes. It, it's a peek behind the curtain, but it's a peek behind the curtain of the worked world. It's Yes, it's a peek behind the fake curtain. Yes. And then Duke is now imitating every top name babyface you've ever seen. He hulks up in this match. I mean, instead of pointing and going, you, he holds up his hands and goes, you, me, you, Lyra Valkyria. So we had a Taya Valkyrie. Yes. And now a Lyra Valkyrie. Kyra. Valkyria? Valkyria? Okay. Time for a new name. I've seen this floating on Twitter, the, the uh, Nikita falling down at the end. <laughs> I laughed and laughed <laughs> and laughed and laughed. But there, there's a, there was a point to it. I've seen athletes into their knees and it looks kind of like this. She goes to jump off the bad knee, which screws up the bad knee. So in midair, she grabs the bad knee and yes, she falls on her ass. Somehow she was able to leap high in the air, yes, which, but not which, extend the kicking leg. That's well, why. Be, that's what made it so funny. Because well, it, it, she just jumped and spun like a top, and I'm then a, fell down I, on I'm her not, ass. I'm not denying that it looked funny. That I have no counter for. There you go. That was uh, that was NXT.